Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel in another video. My name's Jono. In my collection of vintage film cameras, uh, most of them are very, very good cameras in uh, their own special way, um, and I really do enjoy them all. Um, but I thought I'd make a, a slight change this time and show you possibly the worst camera in my collection. I still love it, but uh, it's not the greatest. This is the Hanimex 35 SE. So let's waste no time and take a look and see how bad it actually is. So here we are, this is the Hanamex 35 SE. A little about the company first of all. Um, it was founded uh, just after the Second World War um, to import European cameras to Australia in fact. Um, Jack Hannes, I presume you, that's how you pronounce his surname, H-A-N-N-E-S, uh, form, formed uh, Hannes Import and Export, and that's where we get the name Hanamex from. Um, but later on, obviously, that has evolved, um, and uh, this particular camera, as indeed many of them are, are now produced in China, or were produced in China, I should say, uh, Hong Kong to be exact. So, um, Haking, um, that also make the Helena cameras, um, actually produced uh, all the latter versions of Hanamex. Now, at the beginning of the video, I said uh, the camera was pretty rubbish, and it is pretty rubbish, although I'm perhaps being a little harsh, but it's an entirely plastic camera. Uh, the body is plastic, even the lens isn't glass, it's plastic. Um, the lens is fixed focus, you can't alter the focus at all, so you really have to sort of point it at something and hope for the best. <laughs> the um, shutter speed is fixed, uh, you can't alter that, it's stuck at 1 125th of a second. Um, the uh, lens itself isn't a very fast lens. It's um, uh, it's a 38 millimeter uh, f 5.6, which obviously is quite slow. Um, you can adjust the aperture slightly. So we've got a switch here on the front, which, as you can see, talks about um, sunlight with a 400 ASA film or sunlight with a 100 ASA film, etc. Effectively, what that switch does is it alters the lens uh, between f 9.5 and f 16. So obviously, slowing it down even further. Um, but so you know, making it quite inflexible. The camera does have a flash. Um, I don't have any batteries in here at the moment. But if I did, uh, popping that out would actually set the flash. But popping that out, even with, uh, even without batteries rather, um, will uh, alter it to the f5.6 that I mentioned earlier. So there's three aperture settings, I suppose. Strangely, this does have uh, a thread around the outside of the lens so that you can actually add filters to this, which seems um, oddly advanced for a camera with a, such a simple operation as it has. Batteries, um, should I have any in, would be uh, Double A batteries, two of them, which obviously go in there. We have um, a small uh, mount for a tripod, and we have the button that will release the film uh, to put, for us to wind it back into the canister. Over on the back, it's a, a wheel to advance the film. Okay, um, and our shutter release is on top, uh, which does have a, a receptacle for um, a remote cable release. Um, our take back spool, which as per often is the case, doubles us to open the back of the camera up. And as you can see, pretty standard for a 35 millimeter camera, nothing, nothing remarkable there at all. On top, we've got our shutter count, um, which obviously advances every time we um, uh, wind on. And uh, yeah, pretty simple mechanism. And that's it, folks. There is nothing else to this camera at all. Uh, so like I say, very basic, um, pretty rubbish. So why did I buy it? Well, simple answer was it cost me two pounds. Um, <laughs> and uh, it was a camera I didn't have. I do collect cameras. Um, I don't intend to use this, but I quite like having it on my um, uh, on my display um, and uh, yeah I, I'm, I'm quite glad it's there it, it's a camera that I enjoy even if I don't actually use it photography for me is all about enjoyment it's all about experimenting playing um, you know it's it's the quality you can spend thousands and thousands of pounds on something like a Leica um, as long as you're getting the enjoyment out of it that's fine you can spend five pounds on a crappy camera like this 
uh, and also get enjoyment out of it and either is good with uh, good with me uh, I'll leave a link uh, in the description below to uh, some Flickr uh, pages that actually do show um, the results that you can get from this and you know they're, they're adequate and as long as someone um, you know uh, is proud of those is is pleased that they got the results they did then that makes me very happy to be honest with you well there you go guys thank you very much i hope you enjoyed the video um before i leave i just like to uh, give a shout out to the fellow users of the creator hub uh, discord server um, i'll leave a link in the description below um, to invite you to it if you're a creator that likes to um, obviously uh, promote your own content but to also talk to people and get some really good advice doesn't matter whether you're on twitch or whether on youtube or whatever happens to be your uh, particular platform of choice people on this uh, creator hub uh, are there to support you and help it's not sub for sub or anything like that it's just genuinely good advice and i really do appreciate all their support and i'd like to say thank you um, but that's it. Uh, if you like what you've seen, perhaps you could like and subscribe uh, or share my content or whatever. Um, anything is very much appreciated. Uh, until next time, see you again.